Hello everyone. This video is about showing you the difference between a cryogenically treated tone arm and a non-cryogenically treated stock tone arm. These two tone arms are from a Sony PSX800 straight line tracking biotracer turntable. And I'm not going to tell you which one is cryogenically treated yet. Um, because I just want you to hear the differences and form your own conclusions. Um, please read the uh, descriptive text on this video and all my videos for that matter so you'll get a very good understanding of uh, how these tests were performed. I find that that is uh, critical for your understanding of my videos, especially this one. So. Anyway, I won't go over what I've already written in the text. Uh, you can read that and uh, understand what I've done better. But suffice to say, this is an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. Um, I've taken every precaution that I can uh, think of uh, in order to make sure that, these, uh, that this test is, is totally valid. So anyway, um, here we go. I don't have any kind of uh, specialized mechanical impulse test tool at this time, so I'm just going to be tapping it with my 3 8 wood dowel like I have in all my other videos, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, the head shells are the LP Gear Supreme head shells. Uh, it's not a stock head shell, uh, which is the SH-156. Um, but uh, that's what my customers wanted on this particular turntable. Uh, well, actually, both of these turntables. So, anyway, without delaying any further, let's uh, continue here. Okay, anyway, um, these two tone arms have been supported carefully. I have to use support at the bottom here just to stabilize them so that they don't wander all over the place after being mechanically impulsed. So uh, I will show you how this is done and now reveal which one is which uh, regarding cryogenically treated and not. By turning it around, you can also see that they are identical. Get destabilized. Uh, pay close attention to the head shell leads. They're pretty much identical. Uh, not that that would make any amount to a hill of beans of a difference. Uh, all these screws, they're all equally tight. They've been checked carefully. Uh, the head shell 
collets have been tightened equally. Uh, anything, all the mechanism in here is all identical between the two. Uh, I haven't played any funny games by damping the internal bore of one arm pipe versus the other, none of that. Everything is identical between these two uh, stripped down arm assemblies. And uh, so, can you guess which one is which? All right. Well, the one that was previously on the left, which is now on the right, is the cryogenically treated tone arm. That would be this one. Okay. So again, this one was, of course, on the on your left before, and now it's on your right. This one is the stock, completely unmodified, untouched, basic stock OEM arm assembly. Okay. And again, these are the LP Gear Supreme head shells. Okay? Of course, these pinch bolts are tight. Everything's tight. Everything is valid. It is an apples to apple, apples legitimate comparison. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm not going to tell you uh, which one's better um, or even get into the differences as, to I, as, as far as I hear them. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Um, I will tell you I do hear a difference. And I certainly hope the resolution of your system and the resolution of my uh, video camera, microphone, audio portion of the camera anyway, is has adequate uh, resolution uh, to meet your expectations. Thanks again, and take care.